Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we look at the Hyperglider versus the Max Commutator. So before we get into it, make sure to smash that subscribe button and leave a like on the video as it really does help the channel out. And once we get to 5,000 subscribers, we're going to be doing a 5,000 Robux giveaway, which is super awesome. Make sure to join my Discord for that. It's also very, very fun there. Love chatting to you guys. And without further ado, Alright, so as you probably know, the Prestige 5 commutator is, well, it looks relatively similar to the other commutators, uh, but with the purple thing, but it also glides just like that. So today, we'll be comparing it to the other vehicle that glides, aka the Hyperglider, and so you can see, well, what one's better, because I guess, well, you're not really buying them, but I guess this, if you have Hyperglider, should you get Prestige 5 Commutator, or if you have Prestige 5 Commutator, should you get the Hyperglider? So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. So, uh, first of all, we're going to be talking about, well, the general gliding aspect of it. So, the Prestige 5 Commutator, First of all, it seems that it glides really slow, so oh, that was a terrible example. Uh, it seems that it glides really slow, so if I just manage to get something up here, voila, then as you can see, it, it, it doesn't glide very quickly. So, yeah, which, that is mildly unfortunate. Although, there is a however. So as you probably saw in my first gliding of this, what I did was use this boost of the island to continue. And that is actually how you can glide really well with the Prestige 5 commutator and how it is really quite good if you think about it. You just have to have some practice with it and then once you do have practice with it then you can do things like that to get a little boost and we can use this one and oh not that one and well voila and then now that will, if I didn't accidentally waste my nitro. Uh, and then, now because the nitro regenes in the air, you can use the nitro each time to continue your boost. So if you fail, then, well, it's nowhere near the end of the world. So yeah, that is the main like way to glide with the commutator. And I feel like that you would be able to actually do this with the Prestige 4 commutator as well. Which is absolutely awesome. So now we're gonna have a look on the other side, the Hyperglider. So the Hyperglider on the other hand is very different. So you get all of your boosts from Nitro and it goes super, super quickly and also very, very far. However, if you land on the ground, then you have to wait quite a long time as the Nitro only regenes when you're on the ground. The other problem is that, as, as you can see, it doesn't it get a lot of gliding when you don't have Nitro. Which, if you ask me, is a bit of a uh, problem. So, on the other hand, there's the Hyperglider, which, as you can see, goes very fast and also very far as well. And it's definitely the best viable vehicle in the game. However, there are a couple of things that are annoying about this. So first of all, is the fact that well, the Nitro takes a while to regene, obviously, 
uh, as it doesn't go on the floor. And also, when you... Sorry, it only regenes when you're on the ground. And also, when you don't use Nitro and you just want to do a normal flight, then... Whatever, then... That happens. Which can be very normal. So... But that is the glider of those two things. So now we're going to compare the pros and cons, getting around the city, and all of that other stuff. So first I think we'll start with one very big pro of the commutator. And that is that it actually goes around the city really well. Like it's relatively quick. It doesn't have like the best top speed in the world. However, it isn't a lot slower than the Halo. And especially because you have Nitro if you just use it on the floor. Look how fast that goes. Obviously you probably shouldn't use Nitro when you're just driving around casually. That probably isn't the best idea. But you do see where I'm going. It's actually a really good vehicle for just generally driving around. Which means that if you aren't in a good spot, then you can just drive to a good spot. And voila. So then there is also the fact that it goes on water. So this is commutator on water. So say if I was just down here, and I was like, damn, I want to go. Spawn commutator. Then, all you have to do, just say I'm in the middle of the ocean. Boom. And we are off. Catch this building, just like that. And voila. Now we're ages away from the ocean. Which is really nice. Well, obviously you use the sea quite a lot, and I know there is a way that you can do it on the plane, however it is relatively difficult, and for the hyperglider, that is. However it is relatively difficult, and I know not many people actually know how to do it. But, I probably won't show it, because then I'll have to switch to do that stuff yet. So, now we're going to look at the pros of the hyperglider. So, the first pro is that if you're just driving then you can go up so that's quite that that's a really big thing for well basically everything to be honest because that means that you don't actually have to get a place where you oh my goodness where am i going where you have to like a, a ramp if you want, like the commutator, which that's quite big. And then also it glides super quickly. So, like really, really quick. So we have this ramp, we go up the ramp, and boom. We're going so fast. But now we're going to look at the cons of the hyperglider that is actually of the result of its speed. So if we go over to the city, which is where you will probably most mostly be using the commutator, then we... I do this a lot and crash into buildings and then you lose the majority of your power and you have to wait for Nitro to regen as well, which that's really, really annoying. And then there's also the fact that sometimes you leave it off and things like that, like you have it like that and then you try to do that and boom. Ultimate failure. So, yeah, it's a few problems with that. So now there is the cons of the commutator, which realistically 
the only one is the fact that it glides a lot slower compared to the hype glider. But then that con is like half removed once you teach yourself how to catch on to buildings and stuff like that and boost your speed which is interesting so now what one is better so i personally think that the commutator is actually better because you can use it in like basically everywhere like you can use it for everything you can use it for a boat you can use it for an air vehicle you can use it for a land vehicle and it's just from basically everywhere on the map you have a relatively free place to use it and i still haven't mastered the commutator and i reckon that i can get around the city faster without respawning it on with the commutator so yeah, well, there you go. So do I think that the extra grind for the commutator is worth it compared to the hype glider? Uh, no. However, I still do think that if you have double XP, you should definitely grind for the commutator, as it is such a fun vehicle to use and play with, and I'm really, really enjoying it. But that is it for this video i do hope that you guys enjoyed and i will see you all in the next one bye